Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I have an unboxing. This is the April box from Your Creative Studio. Um, I have been gifted this box to show you what a, a typical content would be. I will put a link to Your Creative Studio in the comments in the description below. Um, as usual, you get a nice um, gift card some paint brushes this month so that's probably a clue as to what's in the box let's just lift out the whole contents and um, I think we can just pull and push out okay so yeah as usual plenty here um, I think these packets are normally, well this is washy, uh, they're normally um, rubber stamps in the envelopes, but we will just do this one, seeing as how it skipped and jumped to the top. So, let's have a little look at the washy kind of peachy orangey colour and it's got brushes and um, palette knives and tubes so a little bit of an arty uh, painterly box I think cling stamp and that looks like a, um, an artist's palette with some paint brushes Oh, there's two stamps. There's a tin of paints with some brushes and there's the palette with the brushes. So we'll leave them aside just now because we'll stamp them out so that we can see what they look like. And an easel. And... Ah, an artist's head with what looks like a berry. <laughs> so maybe some sort of French artist. And oh, another stamp. Quite a collection of stamps this, in this month. What's in this one? Ah, a pot of brushes. A glass pot of brushes and a hand with a paintbrush. So, lots of stamps. We'll get them stamped out so that you can see them. Okay, so forever daytime. Let's see what's in this little mix. So, a little piece of twine. And some washi. Now, is it washi stickers? I think they might be. Yes. Yeah, so it's washi stickers, so quite uh, translucent stickers. So a little bundle of washi stickers. So different ticket and an airplane. These are great just peeking out of your collages. And then papery stickers. VWs. I have a VW. Oh, nice big full postage stamps, department store cash receipts. And oh look, Edinburgh. <laughs> Platform 1, Edinburgh. <laughs> That's a bit of a coincidence. I'm not in Edinburgh, but um, we are 45 minutes down the road in Glasgow. But obviously Edinburgh is our capital city. So, this is our stamp stickers and I'd always love these these um, pa the packaging it's a faux 
postcard so very much for Wang Di Wash and Dry will be invaluable this heat and dust. A home then very well all goes Ethel and it's to Edith. So I wonder if Ethel and Edith were sisters in Mexico. So she's in Mexico and she's writing to Kentucky. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so stamps, wow. Lots of these nice. Quite a lot of bird ones, flower ones. Nice different colours. So they're stickers. And we'll just leave them there. Put that over there. There's the washi. And let's see. There's twine round this bundle. Ah, this is already in our kind of pocket. Now are these stickers too? Kind of papery. I'm not sure that they are. Let me just have... No, I don't think they are stickers. Okay. Days of the week, Tuesday, labels, more days of the week, and then some full vintage um, postcard, and advertisements. Postcard, postcard, yeah, adventismus. Oh, and then just some nice textured paper. That's nice. So, yeah, a nice mix there in that packet. Already in a nice little pre made pocket. Let's just put all that back in there. Wow, this is another stamp set. This is a fancy one. And a fancy wallet. So, brushes, a set of brushes, and then a set of, like, um, a wash, like a stamp that you would, in a, in a palette knife. So that you can stamp out a kind of coloured wash. So yeah, plenty stamps there. Um, these are the little clear stickers that you get. You get usually a sheet of these in the box. If I can just, they're not going to play today. Right, we'll give up on that one. We'll try another one at the bottom there. There we are. So, some clear stickers of the chap's head. <laughs> and what's this? This looks like kind of so this is kind of cardstock. Are these stickers or is this just ephemera? I think it's ephemera. So it's kind of, you can hear, very thick. So that's quite handy. Tags, tags. And again, um, artist paint art. Oh, and some banners. And there's paint brushes. Oh, a fright. Okay, I found my favourite thing in the whole box. This is gorgeous. <laughs> that paintbrush, beautiful. 
paint brushes, some flag tags, there's that person again, some little labels, blank labels, some brushes, a squiggly banner, some circles with some paint, circles, and that's a metal hook. And there's a little jar and little bits, little bits of flowery things. Yeah, so a whole heap, a whole heap, and I'm just going to tuck that under and put all those little bits there, up there, because I'm running out of room. Right, still this little packet. I do love these um, long bits, long little what not bits, because it's just come in handy for peeking out of your pages or peeking out of collages. And you get so many, so many in the, in the packet, you don't mind using them up. So. And this is tissue paper, and I don't want to get it caught in the stickiness of the wrapping. Right, tubes of paint. Yeah, lovely. All the same, good. So, sheets of tissue paper, and this will be the paper pack. And we get six sticker paper, six vellum, six art paper, and six pattern paper. 12 by 21 centimetres. So, let's have a look. This feels like the sticker paper. Yep. So there's this one with the brushes. This one with the tubes of paint in the hand. A patterned one. There's that paintbrush. And a patterned one. And another soft pattern. And then that's got the, this is the one with the kind of slightly textured. And the same set of patterns. And then this is just the kind of paper, the lighter weight paper. And again, the same set of patterns. And then that's the vellum. Beautiful. Same set of patterns. So, wow. Another exciting box. Let's now grab those stamps and stamp them out. We'll just push everything slightly up there, out the way, and we will do a little bit of stamping just to show you. A little piece of scrappy here and so take the plastic cover off and on to now my acrylic block is never clean I should have cleaned it before the video but I didn't and it's not clean and it's got glue on it. <laughs> oh dear. And so stamps don't stick to the dried glue. And there we go. I'm a messy pup. Once in a while I take them all to the kitchen sink and I scrub them all clean. 
but until then they will remain unsticky what one will we do this um, easel Yeah, that's my fault. There's a little smudge there in the middle where I was overzealous with my inking. You will be more careful when you do it. <laughs> I'm sure. Oops, wrong way round. So this is the paint palette with the brushes. Yes. Let's do the hand. If I can get the the backing off. Oh, it doesn't want to come off this one. Well, rather than hold you back, um, because I've got some glue on my acrylic block will stick regardless of whether I have the back on or not. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, and then there's that one come off super easy. Right, let me just take the ink off. So that's the tin of paints and let's see what this chap looks like. Have we got room up here for him? Yes. I didn't expect him to stare at me when I stamped him. I thought he was going to look away, but no, he's looking right at me. So, yeah. So you could just fussy cut them out and leave them as is or colour them in with some pens or paints or pencils or whatever you use to colour. Or you could just cut them in a, in a square and just use them as part of collage. They would be easy to to fussy cut, I think. That's, yeah. Now, will we cut? Will we stamp a couple of these just to see what's what? Let's choose this big paintbrush. These are thinner stamps, but actually stamp really well. Yeah. So I won't do them all. We'll do that and we'll do the the whoosh of colour for want of a better word. And although I wouldn't normally stamp a whoosh of colour in black. It's black that I have out and it will let you see so yeah of course you can see all these ones once you take the stamp off you can see exactly how they're going to stamp see on on the acrylic backing. So I don't actually need to show you. I 
do like the um the splots of colour and the whooshies. I think they're quite cool for like little corners on your journal page. Yeah. Excellent. So let's just put that back on there. So you get a nice plastic holder with these stamps. So we'll just pop them back in the plastic. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there with the unboxing. And now I'm going to go and think about what I might do with all of these goodies. And I'll be back in a minute. I'm back with my projects from the box. But before I show you what I did... Um, I want to show you these because I hadn't realised that these little um, snippets are actually stickers and they are kind of clear washi stickers. I hadn't realised that at the time, but they are quite transparent because when I used one here on this envelope, I realised that I could see underneath the... the the piece underneath was shining through. So that made me even more happy because it's good to get something that's a little bit transparent and it just adds to the texture on your uh, collage or whatever it is you're making. So this is what I came up with. Everything is from the box. I used two of the envelopes. Everything's from the box except the little um, eyelet there. There was twine in the box, so that was quite useful. And, uh, and I just collaged them up. And in this one, I have my swatches, which have just been kicking about and getting a little bit dog-eared. So I'm happy that I've got a place to keep them now and I can hang that up on my pin board and I will know exactly where my swatches are for all my watercolours and um, so yeah I thought that was a super little idea and um, I just did a big notch there and um, with my circle punch they just slide in there and yeah and I used the one that said Edinburgh and the Volkswagen just because that's quite personal to me um, with Edinburgh being just a wee less than an hour up the road and the Volkswagen, um, although I don't have a camper van, it's a VW I've got. Um, yeah, and this one I used the little transparent um, stickers here at the back, one of the sickle ones, the stamp and two of the paintbrushes. So this one is good to go whenever I swatch, if I get a new paint set or if I do some more swatching maybe swatch my ink pads or something, then I'll have a second um, swatch to to hang up. And I just think they are really cool. I, I'm really pleased with how that turns out. Super easy. It only took less than 10 minutes. And, uh, and yeah, so there we go. That's the Your Creative Studio um, box. I will put a link to... Uh, your creative studio and um, you can have a peek and see if you fancy getting your own box so yeah so thanks for joining me if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and i'll see you next time bye for now